I hope the audio is right tonight because I've tried this about four times and it doesn't seem to be working right. I don't know what the reason is again and I apologize for it. Uh, the prayer request tonight, um, remember Renee Davis, uh, they're having all kinds of, of problems and they may lose their home. And uh, Lee, uh, she's feeling a little bit better. She's, I think she's, she's still in a little bit of a, a Crohn's flare. And uh, uh, Angela Garcia for her depression and anxiety in April. Uh, Estrella for her depression. Glenda's brother-in-law is, is doing better after his uh, surgery on his head and he's, he's still recovering. And uh, Nina, from Life of Nina, she was real sick yesterday and her husband did her video for her. And uh, Glenda, she's been having bad cramps and pain going down from her stomach down through her legs. And it's the pain's pretty bad. Uh, she's gonna go to the doctor Wednesday. Uh, Jacinta has a bad cough and her sinuses are acting up and uh, she also fell and hurt her left wrist and her right shoulder so let's remember her y'all and uh, I think that's about it for that okay set that there our uh, Bible verses today come from James 1 16 through 27 and it's do not err my beloved brethren every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the father of lights with whom is no variableness neither shadow of, of turning of his own will begat he us with the word of truth that we should be a kind of first fruits of his creatures Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness, and receive with meekness the engrafted word, which is able to save your souls. But ye be doers of the word, and not bear hearers only, deceiving your own selves. For if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass. For he beholdeth himself and goeth his way, and straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was. But whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty and continueth herein, therein, he being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deed. If any man among you seem to be religious and bridleth not his tongue, but deceiveth his own heart, this man religion is vain. Pure religion and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to visit the fatherless and widows in their affliction, and to keep himself unspotted from the world. Amen. I hope the, the audio is probably going to be off. I hope it's not, y'all. Uh, today... The devotions are called Mirrors and Hearers. When I emerged from my hotel in Kampala, Uganda, my hostess who had come to pick me up for our seminar looked at me with an amused grin. What's so funny, I inquired. She laughed and asked, did you comb your hair? I was, it was my turn to laugh for I had indeed forgotten to comb my hair. I looked at my reflection in the hotel mirror. How come I took no notice of what I saw? In a practical analogy, analogy, James gives us a useful dimension to make our study of Scripture more beneficial. We look in the mirror to examine ourselves to see if anything needs correction. Hair combed, face washed, shirt properly buttoned like a mirror. The Bible helps us examine our character, attitude, thoughts, and behavior. This enables us to align our lives according to the principles of what God has revealed. We will keep a tight rein on our tongues and look after orphans and widows. 
we will pay heed to God's Holy Spirit within us and keep ourselves from being polluted by the world. When we look attentively into the perfect law that gives freedom and apply it to our lives, we will be blessed in what we do. As we look into the mirror of Scripture, we can humbly accept the word planted in, in us. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day, Lord. I want to pray for everybody on the list. There's some that has some, some, some rough things going on, Lord. A lot of pain and, and depression and things. And you can take care of all those things, Lord. So I pray for everyone that, that you'll meet their need. In the Lord's name I pray. Amen. Okay. Now we've got jokes of the day. <laughs> okay. What do you call Santa's helpers? Subordinate clauses. I hope I didn't already use that one. It sounds kind of familiar. That's Saturday. <laughs> no wonder. I did use that one <laughs> yesterday. There it is. Okay. <laughs> now, where can you find literature about Santa's assistance? In the in the elf help section. Elf help. What did the snowman say when all the other snowmen were teasing him? Snow what? <laughs> what do you call a cat on the beach at Christmas time? Sandy claws. <laughs> What what do snowmen eat for breakfast? Frosted flakes. <laughs> when you stop believing in Santa Claus is when you start getting clothes for Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> Daughter, Mommy, I want a beautiful pony with a bow for Christmas. Mother, okay, then on Christmas Eve we will go to the hairdresser. <laughs> Mason says to his mother, you can delete the train set from my Christmas wish list. Wish list. Mother, why is that? Mason, yesterday I found one in the closet. <laughs> now, nobody ever looks for gifts that's hid, do they? I hope not. That's being bad. <laughs> what do you call ten Arctic hares hopping backwards through the snow together? Are you ready? <laughs> A receding hairline. <laughs> What did the snowman and his wife put over their baby's crib? A snowmobile. <laughs> How do you get into Donner's house? You ring the deer bell. <laughs> and the last one. How many clues does it take? How many elves does it take to change a light bulb? Ten. One to change a bulb and nine to stand on each other's shoulders. <laughs> da da da. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> that's that. Let me get some of this stuff out of the way. We got, uh, come on in, Joy, and help me with this a little bit. Logan at, at Mom's yesterday, we had a great time, everybody. Uh, she fixed such a wonderful dinner, and, and we had uh, some pie afterwards. It's uh, a Reese's frozen pie, and uh. It was great, and Logan got a, a $10 Chick-fil-A card, which he'll make good use of. And he got this card he wanted me to show. And you, if I'm doing it right, let me see. Do you? Up here? He's not doing it. Well, anyway, there it goes. The, the tree... It lights up when you press the little <laughs> star on top of it. That's cute. And anyway, I found this. Uh, Joy found this at, at Walmart. I've been talking about these season seasoning wraps. This one is uh, roasted garlic and lemon. And we're going to try this tomorrow. All the other ones have been good that we've tried. But they actually only had one other flavor. And she doesn't even said it didn't even look like it was for chicken. It, it looked dark like it was for beef or something. But I can't believe it. They only had this and one other. But they make like 11 different flavors of this stuff. But this one, I'll let y'all know. We'll check it out tomorrow. And, um, okay, Joy. She's going to start bringing some things over. Come over here, Joy, and show, show them what she's got on. 
She's got on this nice sweater. It's got fuzz Monica. in it. Yeah, and it's got uh, lined with fuzzy stuff. And she's got this. Uh, she went. She got a twenty dollar uh, gift card to Walmart, and she got her new underclothes. Well, pajamas uh, too. See now, if she will start handing me the other stuff, I'll show everybody. I got a candle. Okay. Yeah. She got this this candle. It's uh, fresh linen scent, and it just smells wonderful too, y'all. It really does. Set that over there and I'll make some room here. Okay. Okay, is this one? Logan. Okay, this is one that Logan got right here. And this is this is Logan's too. And it's got a pocket on it. And we we love clothes, y'all. When when you were little you were like, clothes? what you know now you're like clothes sure. great this is one of mine it's real warm it seems like it'll be really really warm that's saddlebrook saddle bread it says on it and then i got a she got me a camouflage, camouflage. thank you joy camouflage one And this, that one mine too? Yep. This is another one. It's, it's kind of like the, the, the other one was, but a different color. How good you can see. All right. And this is my, yeah, it's like a, it's a, like a camo. It's got a hood. It's like a zip up a hoodie, like a, a jacket, like, and that's, that's, it. that's all the, the clothes and stuff. Okay, yeah, we really, she really fixed us up with some nice clothes. I, I, I could always use them. Um, but, uh, yeah, we had a really good time over there. And I was trying to think there was something else that I was going to say, and I'll probably remember it right when I'm done. But, uh, yeah, we're going to try that tonight, uh, tomorrow. And if we can figure out our Instapot, I think we're going to make some uh, spaghetti in the Instapot like Tabitha did in uh, Tabitha's life in one of her videos. And I think I'll just, like I said, we'll read the instructions and stuff, but I'm, I'm going to watch her video again, see how she did it, because hers looked really good. And um, everyone, I think that that's about it. Like I said, if I, I, I put could have forgot something i hope not uh if i did forget anything i'll 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 put it in tomorrow's uh anyone that that uh would like to be on facebook with me send send me a request if you've got a different name or something uh tell me who you are so i'll know who it is because it's kind of hard to tell sometimes and you know i do a lot of things on messenger too and uh a lot of recipes and stuff I can send out a lot easier. But uh, everybody have a great night. And uh, please press like and subscribe and hit that notification button. And I want everybody to have a great day. And everybody that's feeling better, we're going to be praying for you. And you're going to get better, y'all. You will. Trust in the Lord. Everybody have a great night. God bless.